After P.W. Fleury's demonstration of electric light in Calcutta in 1879, you have a company of local entrepreneurs called Seal Day and Company who demonstrate their own version of the electric light. And they market their product by saying that, you know, especially well suited for marriage processions and other kinds of public lighting. By 1895, the colonial government senses something is afoot and passes the Calcutta Electric Lighting Act, which is the first intervention by colonial government in intervening in the field of electricity supply licensing. So as electricity became more common in Indian households, there was an increasing demand for reliable and affordable incandescent bulbs. But here's the catch. Until the early 20th century, almost all electric bulbs used in India were imported. British and European manufacturers dominated the market, making electric lighting a luxury for men. But that was about to change. By the 1930s, a shift was underway. A few enterprising Indians saw this as an opportunity, not just to sell bulbs, but to manufacture them right here in India. It was a part of a growing nationalist movement, the Swadeshi movement, and a call for Swadeshi products that would free India from economic dependence on the British. And leading this revolution were three brothers from Bengal, Hemen, Shuren, and Kiran Roy. Unboxed with Sharmadeep Basu and Pratip Malik. Listen to the full episode on Radio Azim Premji University's YouTube channel.